Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures and another two minute tutorial for you. Uh, this time what I'm looking at are is our brass uh, letters. So the uh, letters, numerals, and runes, uh, they all work the same way. Specifically, I'm going to talk about how to get them to uh, conform to a curved surface. Uh, if you're putting it on a straight surface, the same basic idea applies. A lot simpler, of course, on a straight surface than a curved surface because you're not trying to bend the uh, tiny, tiny piece of brass while you're working. So what I have here is a uh, Space Marine Pauldron from Games Workshop. A little cup to put some uh, cyanoacrylate on or super glue. A uh, Q-tip in case I get a little excess. Tweezers if I need them. Uh, sometimes I manipulate the uh, brass uh, just with the tip of my hobby knife and sometimes I use the tweezers. We'll talk about a few different ways to apply this as we go as well. Uh, and of course in this case I have a frame of the uh, brass Roman numerals. All you have to do to get them off of here is cut the little frets holding it in place. Clean it up if necessary just in case you have a little extra fret on there. I put some glue right here on my cup. Uh, I have tried this with the uh, brush on cyanoacrylate applicators. Uh, I don't find it terribly effective for something this small. I mean, because we're talking about a piece of brass here that is, if my hobby knife will pick it up today, I might need the tweezers. There we go. Nope, tweezer time. I mean, it's so incy beansy. Even me, with my practice, have a hard time getting hold of it sometimes. Boom. So I've got my little nine here. I am going to start by putting one end of it in the glue. And that's the end I'm going to put down first. So I'm actually just going to line it up on the edge of the pauldron here. Actually, this one is dirty. Let's get this one. A little bit of glue on the edge there again, and voila, maybe. Now the tweezers don't want to let go. So I am going to press this end down right against the surface. It's going to stick out from the curve, and that's fine. We'll curve it later. Use my Q-tip to get some of the excess. Quick dab, because I don't want uh, a cotton swab to be stuck to my model, of course. We're going to give this a few seconds to dry. Little tweak, woo, right there, too much. Trying to make sure it's straight. There we go. Holding it in place, holding it in place. Pressing down these corners. Now you can see that it is actually hanging right off of the side here. And that's fine, because all I have to do, assuming this is completely dry, you do want to let it dry completely. Um, I've brought down my zip kicker. I'm going to recommend against using it uh, because if there is still any uh, uncured cyanoacrylate on here after you've been in place, you can go ahead and give it a couple of dabs, get that excess out of there like I'm doing now. Again, quick, 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 quick. Make sure it doesn't stick. Use different spots on the swab. Hold down the side you've already glued and just press the other down. You're effectively just shaping it right here with your fingers. And now it's flush. And once it's all painted up, that's going to look nice. So for all the hassle of dealing with this, and I'll admit right up front, it is a hassle. You just can't be the detail that it gives you, whether you're putting uh, letters across something, um, particularly uh, unit insignias like this, um, really, really great. And it can't be matched with paint because it's not going to be truly three-dimensional. Another option for folks when you're working with uh, Brass Etch is to actually get a bit of clear tape. Make it less tacky, so put it on your shirt, your pants, whatever. Uh, as long as you don't have an animal in the house, you certainly don't want a bunch of uh, cat hair on your project. So you can take off another piece. Let's take a, let's take a 10 here. Boom. One big X. Big being relative. So you can see my wee bitty X right there. And I'm going to take the tape. I'm going to line it up over the piece. Boom. So it is now on my tape. And you can actually use that, put a little bit of glue on the surface of your model very, very lightly. In that case, the brush on Sino, it does work. You can brush it onto the pauldron. Take your bit of tape, line it up on the pauldron, and voila. Press it into place, peel the tape off, and it'll stick. Obviously, there's no glue on the pauldron now, so it's going to stay on the tape. But that's another way to do it, uh, one I don't use as often, but it uh, is still pretty useful. Any questions, you'll find me at Mr. Justin at SeekWeaponMiniatures.com or, of course, Facebook.com slash SeekWeaponMiniatures. And as always, if there's something you'd like to see covered, let me know. I'll see what I can do. 
in the interim, thanks for watching.